This is at least $1,100 of mountable iPhone cases and accessories. Which case is best? Well, it's not this one. In this video, we're briefly going to talk about the protection of each case to different types of mounts, do a mounts buyer's guide, and then give you our final recommendations. Oh, and Val is going to tell you which product to stay away from at the end. Now, if you're looking for a breakdown of the design and functionality of each case, do check out the detailed reviews that we've done for each product. Now, when it comes to protection, the least protective cases are going to be the quad lock and peak design cases. They are single layered cases with corners around 2.7 millimeters thick. It's just made from one material. Between the most evolution of Rockform Crystal case, the crystal does have thicker corners at 3.3 millimeters versus the 2.8 mils of the evolution, but the mouse product is a fusion of TPU and TPE material, which from our perspective offers better drop protection. Both the mouse and Rockform cases have larger corners, which increases the clearance that your screen has when placed face down, which is a plus. Given the nature of these mountable cases, we would definitely go with the cases that are a little tougher, you know, in case something bad happens. Now let's talk about the mount type. Between these four mountable products, there are two types of mounts. You got twist mounts and click mounts. Now, oddly enough, it's the older brands that use twist mounts and the new ones use click mounts. Now here are the pros and cons for each type of mount. With the twist mounts, you'll end up having to blindly rub the back of your case on the mount until it fits and then twist. It's fairly clumsy, especially when you have a company like Quadlux who's been pushing hard to use their product in the office. Another downside for the twist mounts is that both companies have two types of mounting solutions. You got the normal twist mounts and then the locking twist mounts. Normal twist mounts are used for more stationary applications. They're not as stable, whereas the locking twist mounts are used when the device is attached to something moving. In general, the locking twist mounts from our perspective are just annoying to use with one hand. The upside for quad lock and rock form products is the longevity. They've been around for a while and the mounts that you bought for your last device or last few devices is most likely going to work for all the newest devices or anything in the near future. Now for the click mounts, the upside is just ease of use. Bring the device close to the mount and the magnets will help you find the right spot and then you just press. It's very simple. These click mounts are also easier to remove with one hand when compared to the locking twist mounts. Another upside is the ability to use MagSafe with the mouse evolution and peak design cases. The mouse case looks closest to Apple's recommended magnet layout so nothing odd happens. Peak does use their own setup so you'll occasionally have accessories that catch the edge of the magnets. Now the Rockform cases are MagSafe compatible but the back of the case isn't completely flat so accessories like wallets and battery packs fall off easily. The only downside from our perspective is that both mouse and Peak's mounting systems are relatively new. Buying into their ecosystem means that you're hoping that they stick around for the long term. Now if we had a wager I guess we would say that the mouse's system is going to be around longer given that they are a case company. This is their focus whereas in Peak's focus I don't think we'll be as strong on their mobile stuff given that they operate in a bunch of other areas. To test the mount strength, we took each mount and case and tried to detach the mount by twisting and pulling the mount off the case with an iPhone in it. For the twist test, the quad lock with the lock twist mount came off quite easily. The mouse interlock did come off after several attempts. The peak design mount stayed on, but there was a cracking sound. We didn't think much of it until the pull tests. The mount that stayed on without breaking was the rock form. We will add that the bike mount we bought from them didn't have a long arm for us to crank on, so take that test with a grain of salt. So if we were to rank them from lowest to highest for the twist test, it would be quad lock, peak because the case broke, mouse, and rock form. For the pull test, the rock form performed the best. There was no way this mount was coming off the case. Contrast this with the quad lock, where the case actually bowed out before the mount popped off. The peak bike mount didn't come off. In fact, the mount was so strong that it broke the case. The cracking from the twist test actually broke the back of the case in three areas. The mount still stayed on with the damage. The mouse interlock didn't come off during the pull test, which was surprising. Even with Aaron's best effort, the case didn't bow like the quad lock, nor did the case break like the peak designs every day case. So if we were to rank them from lowest to highest for the pull test, it would be quad lock peak because the case broke and a tie between mouse evolution and rock form crystal. Now each brand basically has the same types of mount for cars, bikes, and motorcycles, except for the mouse. They did something different. Let's talk about motorcycles. There is a clear winner in this category and that's the quad lock. You might think that's an odd given the poor performance in our mount strength portion, but in late 2021, Apple put out a support page telling us that exposing your iPhone to high amplitude vibrations can degrade the performance of a camera system. Out of all the brands in this video, Quadlock is the only company that has a vibration dampener. Given that the camera is probably the only feature that every smartphone user uses, protection is probably a smart thing. When it comes to bikes, most companies provide a handlebar mount that you have to secure with a screw. Rockform is the only company that doesn't. They've got two, with one attaching to the stem of the bike and the second one being something with Velcro. We bought the Velcro version and it is just downright terrible. The Rockform mounting system is generally very tough to use, so when you couple it with a mount that actually moves around on your handlebars, it just 
makes for a very frustrating mounting experience. For the bike, we'd recommend the Peak Design or the Mouse Interlock System. When mounting your iPhone in the car, we'd go with the MagSafe compatible Peak and Mouse products. Why? Because you can use any MagSafe car charger with it. Now, Qualock does have a car charging version, but it doesn't run at 15 watts like MagSafe does, so it charges quite slowly. Now, we will note that Rockform is also MagSafe compatible, but the magnets on the case are so strong that they actually interfere with wireless charging. Now, why is Mouse different out of all these mountable cases? In addition to vehicle mounts, they went and made their mount compatible with action camera mounts, which means the selfie pole that you bought eight years ago can now be used again. It also means that all the money that we've spent on Joby tripods, we can use with the mount interlock system, which is handy. The thing with the mouse interlock system is that it just works. It just clicks in. I don't have to worry about any devices slipping out of even like the Joby grip that we use very often. If you're a creator of any sort, the interlock system by mouse is worth looking into. So after all that, here are the final rankings based on all the criteria that we've talked about in this video. All right, let's tie everything up. Mint Oreo shot. Ooh. Mint. That's pretty good. There's like pieces of the cookie at the bottom. Just from the mounting. Last place is quad lock, then comes peak, then rock form, then the mouse evolution with the interlock system. Unless you are riding a motorcycle, then you go with the quad lock, vibration dampening mounts. That's the only one out of all these brands that has that. If we were to factor in the design of the product, like the usability of your iPhone in the actual case, the scoring actually kind of changes a bit because Peak becomes number two, Rockform becomes number three. What's the one brand that you wouldn't, that you would say stay away from? I would stay away from the Rockform. They're like stuck together and it gets stuck to everything like, <laughs> What do you have in your pocket? Do you just like walk around like that all day? Yeah. Handy, I guess. Right, so the mounting system is awesome, but like iPhone usability just takes such a drastic hit. And unless you are having it mounted all the time, being able to use your iPhone easily is a pretty big deal. And the magnet's just like so bad. Even from a wireless charging perspective, like this thing, we're doing the test right now, is about half as slow as all the other cases, which is brutal for wireless charging. That's all we got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. Want to help the channel get your stuff through our links. We'll do them in the description and the pinned comment. How else can they help us? You can support us through Patreon. You can follow us on our social media platforms. Like, comment, share this video. Thanks for watching. Wait. Oh, this cookie, these cookies are in that shot. Like I literally turned these cookies into a shot. Check that channel out. It's like the slowest shooter. <laughs> that was really good.